Welcome to Energy Star Portfolio Manager Demonstration Series. Portfolio Manager is an EPA tool that tracks the energy, water, waste, and greenhouse gas emissions associated with any type of building. Today you'll learn how to set up your energy, water, and waste meters in Portfolio Manager. To get started, log into Portfolio Manager via energystar.gov buildings. On the My Portfolio tab, you'll see a list of your properties with a table of metrics such as Energy Current Date, Energy Star Score, Site EUI, and Source EUI for each property in your portfolio. Select the property for which you want to enter meter data. We'll choose the supermarket for this demonstration video. This will take you to the Property Summary page where you'll see the Energy, Water, and Waste, and Materials tab, where you can enter utility data and receive performance metrics. The Energy tab allows you to track consumption for more than a dozen types of energy. The Water tab tracks use based on four types of water sources. The metrics for each of these sources are tracked as indoor, outdoor, or mixed. The Waste and Materials tab tracks 29 types of waste and materials and allows you to indicate what you're doing with those materials. You can choose disposing it, recycling it, or donating slash reusing it. The process of setting up a meter is the same for energy, water, and waste. So let's walk through the entire process using an energy meter as an example. Click Add a Meter and then select all the energy types and sources associated with your property. In this example, the property uses grid-purchased electricity, natural gas, and diesel fuel for a backup generator. Now, type in the number of meters tracking each energy type. Please note that Portfolio Manager simply requires you to account for the total quantity of each fuel consumed at the property. This means that if you have more than one electricity meter at your property, you have the option to create individual meters in Portfolio Manager and enter relevant electricity data for each. Or you could create a single meter that aggregates the energy data from both electricity meters. In this example, we are assuming that there is only one electricity meter at the property. Now, click the Get Started button. On this page, you'll enter more specific information for your meters. Click the checkbox to change the meter's name to something descriptive, or use the meter number from your utility bill as the meter name. Enter the units of consumption and the date the meter became active. If you don't know the exact date, choose the start date of your first billing record. Keep In Use checked if the meter is currently tracking consumption. If the meter's fuel gets delivered intermittently, like the fuel oil or diesel, click the box for Enter as delivery. This tells the tool not to expect regular monthly entries for this meter. Define this basic information for each energy meter on this page. If you need to delete a meter or add another meter, you can do so on this page. Select Create Meters to move on to the next step. On this page, you'll add consumption data for each meter. To manually add data, select Click to Add Entry. Input the start and end dates for the consumption period provided on your utility bill and the amount of energy used. You can also track energy costs here, although this information is not required to generate an energy use intensity value or 1 to 100 Energy Star score. If any of the consumption values you are entering are estimates, please be sure to select the estimation checkbox. This will allow you to proceed with the current entry, but you will need to come back later to enter the actual consumption in order for the tool to deliver accurate metrics for electricity meters. To add additional meter data, click Add Another Entry. You must enter at least 12 continuous months of energy data for all meters in order to generate performance metrics, just to make sure there are no gaps or overlaps in meter start and end dates. Complete the same process to populate any other energy meters for your property. There are two other ways to get meter data into Portfolio Manager. First, you can upload data in bulk using the Excel spreadsheet template. The template asks for the same inputs that are required when you enter meter data manually, 
but is a useful tool for quickly uploading many rows of meter data. Second, you can work with your utility or data service provider to deliver data directly into your account via web services. For more information on this, visit the Sharing tab. Now that we've entered our meter data, click Save Bills. On the next page, you'll be prompted to choose the meters you want counted towards your property's total energy consumption. In some cases, you may not want to include a meter in the property total to avoid double counting. For example, if a property has a master meter and also submeter portions of the property, you would only select the master meter to reflect total property consumption. Click the checkboxes next to the meters you want to include for total consumption and confirm that they measure all usage for the property by clicking the appropriate radio button. Then click Apply Selections. This takes you back to your property's energy tab. Now that you've entered meter data, you'll see a 1 to 100 Energy Star score in the upper right hand corner. Property types that cannot receive a score will see a weather normalized energy use intensity value here instead. You'll now see the energy performance charts are populated. You'll also see a list of all energy meters for the building. To quickly navigate to the meters entries page, click the Enter Your Bills button in the Meter Summary section to see the metric summary of all your energy, water, and waste meters. This concludes our demonstration of how to set up your energy, water, and waste meters in Portfolio Manager. For more information about Portfolio Manager, including how-to guides, live and recorded webinars, and frequently asked questions, please visit the websites listed here.